friends. So tonight is a very exciting night, and I'll tell you why it's an exciting night. Because I bought concert tickets to one of my favorite artists of all time, Drake. It's Aubrey and the Migos tour, and they are performing in Nashville tonight at Bridgestone, and I am so excited. So I thought that I would make a video out of it, do like a get ready with me, and kind of vlog a little bit of the night. I'm going with my friend Taylor, she lives right next door to me, so we're gonna be walking, <laughs> she's making me a drink right now. So we're gonna be walking over together, and I am lit I am so excited, you guys. So I decided to do a little bit of a smoky eye, red lip, diamonds tonight. Keep it classy. Keep it classy. So yeah, so that's what the deal is with this video. So without further ado, let's go get ready for Drake. All right, so I'm going to pull my hair back. Cool. First things first, whenever I get ready, um, depending on where I'm going, I always have my phone plugged in. So my phone is plugged in so that I have full battery for wherever I'm going. And I always play music. And even though I'm filming, I'm still going to be playing Drake softly in the background because I love him. <laughs> I have to have a little bit of music when I get ready. I always do. And I get dehydrated very easily. So I also have water, especially since I'm going to a concert and it's going to be hot. And there's probably going to be a little bit of alcohol involved. Always really important to stay hydrated. So I have my big glass of ice water. I put some lemon in here as well. That is my prep. Now I'm going to do my makeup. I'm so excited. So the look that I'm thinking of doing tonight is definitely a smoky eye and I'm trying to decide if I want to do a gray and like black and blue smoky eye or if I want to do a brown smoky eye. I don't know but either way whenever I do my smoky eyes I always start with my eyes first so that I can catch any fallout before I put my foundation on so my foundation can be nice and even without having like blue specks in my concealer you know. I always like to just clean it up before I put on my foundation. Okay so I'm gonna start the whole process by this new favorite primer that I have found it is Shea Moisture Daily Glow. It's a coconut oil primer. So I saw this at the drugstore and was like, how on earth could I resist this? It's kind of like a creamy consistency. And honestly, you guys, so I work eight hour plus shifts almost every day and take about that much. And my foundation does not move when I put this on. It's truly incredible. You have to kind of work with it a little bit because it is thick. Some of you may know from previous videos that my skin is very sensitive to breakouts and literally every moisturizer that I try ever, I've reacted to. But for some reason, this one, doesn't break me out. It's because coconut oil is magical and every product that I have to buy ever has to have coconut oil in it. So that's the secret. Make sure it comes down on your neck a little bit too. And I love this. It has a little bit of a gold glow to it. You see like the gold undertone. I love it. So now that my face is primed, I am going to start with my eyebrows. So I have two pencils, not necessary to have both. They're both Anastasia. So when I actually want to do a good job with my eyebrows, I use both pencils. You don't have to use both pencils. This one will do the job perfectly fine. But this one just fills in my eyebrows a little bit faster and a little bit thicker as well. So I'm just gonna sharpen it just a little bit. I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna color in the main part of my eyebrow. Okay, that's literally all I do with the thicker one. Now I'm just gonna take the thinner brow wiz and trace my brows. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take concealer, a little bit on my hand, and I'm going to clean up my brows. All right, cool, brows are done. That's always my least favorite part of my entire routine. It's the least creative part of the makeup routine. It's just tedious, I hate doing my brows. So anyway, brows are done. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and do my eyes. I still use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. All right, moment of truth. What kind of smoky eye should I do, guys? Okay, I think I'm gonna do a blue smoky eye because I think that goes better with like diamonds and black that I'm planning on wearing. I'll save the brown smoky eye for another day because I do love my brown smoky eyes. So, okay, I'm gonna do a blue smoky eye. I'm gonna use my Naked palette because these two uh, colors are like some of my ultimate favorite colors to use. I'm gonna start with a base, Naked, right here. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid to make it a little bit more blendable. Now I think I'm just gonna go for it with this dark blue. I'm gonna dip my shader brush in it and I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus so it's stickier 
and I'm gonna put it on. Smoky eyes always take such a long time before they actually look good. Like, do you know how many steps I have to go to after doing this to actually make it look good? <laughs> Aren't you glad we did eyes and not foundation first? All right, I'm done. <laughs> now, the best part of the whole tutorial is blending. I'm just gonna take a brush with a little bit of brown on it and I'm gonna go back and forth in the crease just to start by fading the line in the crease. Come in. Hi. Hey, Taylor. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube life. Awesome. That's insanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like, am I gonna get the eyeliner off my? Right? <laughs> All right. So the crease is a lot more blended now. So now. This is bothering me, this fallout, so I'm gonna take a wipe and just take everything off and just get the blue off from underneath my eyes. This is why we do eyes first when I do a smoky eye. <laughs> so I'm going to clean my brush off and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of a brown so that I can start blending the crease a little bit better. And I'm gonna put that in the crease as well. Cool, and that blends the the blue and the brown very nicely. Right now I'm gonna take Sidecar from the Naked Palette, this one right here, and I'm going to go in the inner corner of my lid a little bit. This is a trick that I've always done with smoky eyes and it just kind of lightens up the harshness of the gray a little bit. All right, so now I'm just gonna do eyeliner and lashes. Line my tight line, then I'm gonna do a wing. You can always take a makeup wipe and sharpen up the gel, the wing a little bit too. Okay, here are my eyes so far. Now I'm going to do my foundation. And the current foundation that I'm loving is my Fenty foundation. I am in the shade 150, and I know what some of you were thinking. This previously broke me out, but it doesn't anymore, and it actually turned into be one of my favorite foundations I've ever tried. So, don't know what happened there. So, I'm using my beauty blender, and I'm gonna squirt two drops, and we're just gonna start working the foundation. Two more drops, and we're gonna go over here. All right, for concealer, I'm going to be using my precious Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And if this isn't your favorite step of your entire makeup process, I don't know what is. Blending in the concealer. I know some of you can relate to this. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take my translucent powder, put that underneath my eyes, my cheeks as well. I'm gonna bronze and do blush as well. I'm gonna take my trusty Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. I love this bronzer. Do more of a contour, I think. All right, I'm gonna do a dab of blush as well. This is the Hoola Dallas blush, just to make my cheeks a little rosy. All right, and highlight is always the last step that I do, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes, and then I'm going to spritz my face with Fix Plus and put my highlighter on. Seriously, the best step of the makeup routine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corners. I'm gonna use um, Virgin from the Naked Palette, just to brighten the inner corner a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna put it under my brow bone as well. Okay, and I'm gonna finish off by putting mascara on my bottom lashes. Oh, uh, maybe I should do red. Do it. All right. I love this color so much. It's a really pretty color. Okay, so now for the final step highlighter and this is I'm gonna prep my face with uh, fix plus and the highlighter I'm gonna use today is this is from one of my boxy charm boxes that I never did a review on coming soon folks <laughs> you can see I've already hit pan on one of these so I'm gonna spray my face fix plus finish it off best step ever I'm gonna take this morphe brush and I'm gonna do the bottom one because the bottom one's a little bit more pigmented pigmented and here we go Ooh! All right, down the nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and I'm gonna put a little bit above my eyebrow as well. 
that super glowy effect. There's my makeup, the evolution of the smoky eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a ponytail and I'm gonna do something similar to this. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit more so it's not quite as sloppy looking. So I have my straightener plugged in so that I can straighten my ponytail and make it super sleek. And I also have my brush that has a lot of hair in it right now. Um, this is my wet brush. It's technically the shine brush from their company but it works really, really well as a smoothing brush because of the consistency of it. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna just smooth all of my hair into a ponytail. Okay, and I'm gonna take my, um, this is my Redken Versatile Hairspray. I bought this at Ulta, and they told me that this is one that like is not super stiff. It's like a really good combination of firm hold and flexible hold. That's what I like in my hairspray. So I'm gonna spray it underneath here for all these baby hairs. And I'm gonna tie everything off into a high ponytail. All right, then I'm just gonna run the straightener a few times through my hair so that it's sleek. And there are no creases in my ponytail. See how shiny that makes my hair look? It's so much better. All right, now I'm going to go put on my outfit. So here is the finished look. We're gonna pregame a little bit more, then we're gonna walk over. Um, our apartment complex is like walking distance from the concert, so we have to avoid the traffic and all of that. It's awesome. All right, folks, <laughs> we are on our way <laughs> to the Aubrey and Migos tour. We are so excited. The road that we usually take is blocked <laughs> off. Stupid. <laughs> so we have to take oh, wait. an alternate route. Wait, should we walk across? Okay, so we're gonna take the creepy construction route because we live downtown and everything is in shambles downtown. <laughs> is this Margaritaville? Is this yeah. what this is? Yes. It's a hotel. It's gonna be a hotel. And can you imagine we can walk across the street and get serious margaritas? Heck yeah. One day. All right, so concert starts at seven and as girls, <laughs> we're doing very well on time. What very time well. is it? It's 6.30. 6.30. It's 6.30. Whoever gets this ready this early for we a concert. We might actually see the first song. We, <laughs> we might actually get our seats in time and hear the first song. That's incredible. Okay, we'll see you all at the venue. Going dress concert seats. Very incredible. I'm going to show you. Cheers. watching i really appreciate all of your love and support on this channel follow me on my social media all of my links will be in the description bar below it is pretty much the official jam all the way across the board i love you all so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye everyone <laughs>